a historic mission put a lunar lander on the moon. The private company behind the voyage hopes that this is just the start. Connor Hansen has the story. Odysseus has taken the moon. For the first time since the Apollo mission more than 50 years ago, the U.S. is on the moon. But this time, it's a private company, Intuitive Machines, behind the mission. It follows several other recent attempts from different countries and companies. Not all of them have been successful. There are a lot of players now. There are commercial players, there are government players, uh, China, Japan, India, America, Russia. There are a whole lot of people trying to do good things to get humans back to the moon. NASA helped fund the project with $118 million. The Odysseus lunar lander carried six NASA experiments. It also brought insulating fabric from Columbia sportswear, cameras, and sculptures from a famous artist. It'll be a really important next step in um, establishing more of a longer term presence on the moon and testing new technologies for landing on the moon. Researchers say it's a crucial step towards putting humans back on the moon and even Mars. Landing on the southern part of the lunar surface, researchers hope Odysseus can find ice crystals that could be turned into water oxygen, and even fuel. We think that the moon could become a refueling station for astronauts. This is potentially a game changer. NASA is spending $2.6 billion with several U.S. companies to deliver technology to the moon over the next few years. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.